The following public affairs presentation is produced exclusively for the Cox Channel. And now, The Verdict. And welcome to The Verdict. I'm Kent Myers. Uh, so glad you join us uh, this day and let us into your home to visit about a very important subject that I think you'll enjoy a lot. Uh, let me just uh, say in advance of that that uh, my partner Mick Cornett is uh, somewhere uh, out on the campaign trail and is going to be off the show for a few weeks while uh, his other activities are taking place. And I'll try to hold down the fort in his absence, but rest assured he will be back. And uh, I, of course, will look forward to his return, as I'm sure you will as well. Uh, sometimes we have political shows where we have candidates, uh, even debates. And I promise you, as this uh, year of an election comes uh, closer to November, we're going to give you some of that. We'll let you know in advance what that's going to be. We also talk about legal-related matters, but we uh, sometimes have the best fun and the best reception in talking about what's going on in our community, uh, for all of our citizens, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be talking to a couple of people that are going to be telling us about the Habitat for Humanity Home Building Blitz. It's something that has just been completed, and somewhere in uh, Oklahoma City, you'll find out about in just a few minutes, or in the Oklahoma City area, are 10 families in 10 brand new homes that they didn't have about 10 or 15 days ago. It's an interesting subject. You're going to enjoy our guests. They're doing wonderful things for people in this community, and we're going to talk to them. Let's uh, take a little break. In about two minutes, we'll be back to talk about the Home Builders Blitz. At Chesapeake Energy, here's a few of our favorite hornets. Alexis likes reading. Sam enjoys history. Alec loves math. Chesapeake is proud to support both the Oklahoma City NBA Hornets and the Young Hornets at Horace Mann Elementary, where over 150 Chesapeake employees mentor to children each week. The students gain a lot from the experience, but not as much as we do. Chesapeake Energy, committed to building a better Oklahoma. The Sunbelt Classic features the best high school seniors from eight states in a five-day battle to see who's the best of the best. Future big leaguers have dotted the rosters of these teams since 1977. Friday, June 23rd at 7 p.m., it's Oklahoma versus Texas. Saturday the 24th at 7, it's the Sunbelt Classic Championship game. The 30th annual Sunbelt Classic, Friday and Saturday, June 23rd and 24th at 7 p.m. It's live, and it's only on the Cox Channel. Stuck in a rut? Move your career onto the fast track in one of the most exciting segments of the high-tech industry. The Cox Communications National Wireless Call Center for Excellence is hiring employees in Oklahoma City to specialize in wireless customer care. Management opportunities are available for people with substantial experience in the wireless industry. If you're ready to take your career to the next level, submit your resume online at www.cox.com and become a part of the Cox tradition of excellence. Welcome back to The Verdict, Kent Myers, and we're going to be talking today about the Habitat for Humanity's Home Building Blitz. And I want to introduce our two guests. To my left is Ann Felton. Ann is the chairman and CEO of the Central Oklahoma Habitat for Humanity. She's long been involved in uh, projects uh, dealing with housing for the needy. Uh, this is her first visit to The Verdict, but we certainly hope not her last. She's a trustee of Cassidy School. She's a recipient of many honors in the community and has been active in this community for many years. 
And I'm just kind of embarrassed we haven't had you on before now. Thank but you. Ann, welcome. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. On my right is Dan Ellis. Dan is president of Climate Master here in Oklahoma City. He has over 30 years experience in the heating, air conditioning, and heat pump business uh, in uh, Oklahoma City and in Oklahoma. He's uh, likewise won a number of awards uh, for his community service and has been very active in supporting the community. And he and uh, uh, Ann are working together kind of as partners on this home building blitz, so that's why we have invited them both to attend. Dan, thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you for having us. Uh, Ann, let me start out with you. Uh, mm -hmm. I know <clears throat> many of our viewers are already familiar to some extent with Habitat for Humanity, but many perhaps are not. Would you just please tell us uh, what is Habitat for Humanity? Well, we're an ecumenical Christian housing ministry and we build homes for families that earn below the median income. And by the end of June, we will build 400 houses in this community. And uh, our families qualify by, uh, they have to ha have an earned income of at least $16,000 a year. Uh, they, we do a background check on our families and we do also do a credit check on our families. And that doesn't have to be perfect, but we have to see that it will be workable and they will be able to make house payments and maintain their homes after they move in. So I've been involved since 1990 and I think it's the best program for families to get into affordable housing. And there's a great need in our community for affordable housing. One in eight families live below the poverty rate. And if it's a single mom, it's one in four. So we know there's a great need for affordable housing and we're trying to provide as much as possible through Central Oklahoma Habitat. Tell us a little bit about the selection process that you go through to determine. I'm sure you must have many uh, uh, worthy applicants. We do. How do you determine uh, who's going to be the recipient? Well, we have over a thousand applicants a year and uh, we have a family selection committee that reviews all the applicants. We also, on this committee, we have two board members that oversee it as well. And we do an interview in our office. We also do an interview where the families live so we can assess their need. And it's really based on need and it's also based on their willingness to partner with us because all of our families are required to put in 300 hours of sweat equity. And so that's, that's quite an obligation. Into their home? <laughs> and Well, no, they actually start on other homes because they have a year to put in the sweat equity. And you can imagine a family that works full time or a mom or dad that work full time, I mean, they only have Saturdays that they can put in the sweat equity. And they can put in sweat equity working on the job site. They can come in our office and work. Or also they can work in our renovation station where we sell new and used building materials. But it's, uh, it's tough to get into our program. But once families get into our program, we do everything we can to ensure their success. Is the success rate pretty high for those who are ultimately admitted to yes, the program? Yes, I'm really proud of our families. I mean, as I said earlier, we've almost built 400 houses. Or we, we, have, we have, really. We will by the end of June. And uh, of that, we've only had to repossess nine houses, and I think that's a very good track record. I really feel that probably a lot mm -hmm. of banks and mortgage companies would like to have that track record. But like I said, we do careful screening up front to make sure that we're selecting families that really are ready to partner with us because what we offer at Central Oklahoma Habitat is a hand up and we want to work with our families not for them. How do you acquire the land on which the house will sit? Well a number of different ways. We've gotten a lot of lots that we've acquired uh, through the city, really through the county that have gone back for back taxes. We've probably gotten over uh, almost close to 200 lots that way. We buy lots. We also have lots that are donated to us. So it's just a number of ways. We've, you'd be surprised we have a lot of property that's just donated. In fact, we got a wonderful donation right after Christmas this year at 59 acres that we're going to be developing later on. So is people it, are very generous. Uh, is it the Oklahoma City area, metropolitan mm -hmm. area generally? Mm -hmm. Well, we built houses <coughs> in the May 99 tornadoes. We actually went to uh, Mull Hall and we went to Bridge Creek and more in Midwest City to build. And we built uh, our first house in Guthrie last year and we build three houses in El Reno this year. We build a house a year in Yukon. So we have our first property in Mustang, so we'll be building a house in Mustang this year as well. So we're very excited about that. Uh, there's a, uh, among some, a misconception that these are free homes, that they no. just walk in and uh, uh, as you see on television, some of the uh, uh, reality shows give away free homes. They, these are not free homes no. in any sense of the word, are they? No, our families work hard. As I said, they have to put in 300 hours of sweat equity. And their house payments are all different because they're based on uh, 
twenty percent of their gross income. So everyone's house payment's a little bit different, but it includes their taxes and insurance. And uh, as I said, they work really hard. They buy the houses. And what's really exciting about this too is that all their, their mortgage payments go back directly into our construction budget. So every family is really helping us build more houses. Mm -hmm. And this year alone, from our mortgage base, we'll be able to build 25 houses out of the 52 houses that we'll build. So the mortgage payments don't go to a, a separate uh, profit-making bank or mm -hmm. anything like that? They go it comes right, right back, back into right Habitat. Back in, well, we do everything in our office. We close the loan. We, uh, raise, we raise the money to build the house. We close the loan. Uh, we, they make their house payments to us. They go directly into the construction budget. It's well, exciting. It, it, I can mm -hmm. see why you'd be it excited is. about it. I bet those family members are excited oh, when they get to move every, in. We do a house dedication or hold a house dedication for every family when we finish the house. And it's a very special time. We present each family with the Bible and some lawn care equipment and we hand them the keys and it's always special to me because their children generally take me around and show me which bedroom is going to be theirs because for the first time in their life they have a yard to play in, they have a safe street to ride their bicycle on. I mean it, it is exciting. Dan, uh, let me talk to you just a minute. I'm sorry I didn't mean to ignore you. Oh. We got kind of caught up. <laughs> That's pretty there. interesting. It, well, uh, we both learned a lot. Yeah. Uh, tell us about Climate Master. Well, Climate Master is an Oklahoma City-based manufacturer of a product called water source heat pumps. It's a unit that can heat and air condition a space. Uh, could be a home. It could be used in larger commercial buildings. In fact, the Oklahoma State Capitol uses our uh, units. And these, these units uh, are used in geothermal systems where we use heat from the earth, or they can be tied to commercial buildings with cooling towers. But for homes, it's always geothermal systems, which is what we're doing with the Habitat Project. We're a division of LSB Industries, which is an Oklahoma City-based public company. Jack Golson's company. Yeah, that's right, Jack's company. There are, are about 1,200 local employees, and uh, last year LSB did about $400 million in sales. Climate Master, we've been r rapidly growing. Uh, we have doubled our sales since 2002. In fact, this year alone we're up 50%. So business is very good, and I think we feel so blessed. That's why we wanted to give back to the community by participating in the Habitat Project and some of the other things that we do, both from a parent company and operating company level. Well, you've contributed greatly, as we'll find out in just a minute, but let me talk a little bit more about the distribution of your product. It's much broader than Oklahoma. Oh, yes. Uh, we sell our products really all over the world. We have projects that we've done, uh, large office buildings in China. We've done uh, shopping centers in Portugal and Spain. Uh, we have uh, beautiful hotels in Russia. Uh, so about uh, <coughs> 5 to 10 percent of our products are exported every year. And then the vast majority goes to, uh, you know, in North America, Canada and, and the USA, uh, largely the, the coastal cities. New York City is a large market for us, L.A., San Diego, uh, up Boston, and of course uh, Florida. And then, you know, we certainly do our share right here in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Now, folks, what we've done is give you the first segment to, so that you'd meet the two uh, participants, major participants in the home building blitz and after we take a little commercial break we're going to come and talk specifically about the home builders blitz habitat for humanity here in this community you're watching the verdict the journal record is pleased to be a sponsor of the verdict the journal record since 1903, the best source of Oklahoma business news and legal information. Okiwani is an Indian name for a place where children play. When we obtained the camp, we found a lot of oil debris left in the woods. We saw a commercial about how the oil and natural gas industry cleans up old oil well sites. We called the OERB and they agreed to remove tons of concrete and steel. It didn't cost us a thing. Thousands of children have left their footprints on this land. Thanks to the oil and gas industry, they will for a long time to come. All children deserve a life of hope and love, but sometimes they experience a life of pain, neglect, and abuse. When that happens, each child deserves all the quality, assistance, and representation that can be offered in our legal system. For more information, call 23CHILD. Oklahoma Lawyers for Children, helping to bring hope and love back to the lives of abused children. High school sports don't stop at the spring. One on goalie, oh, great play! And neither do we. Bases loaded, bottom of the first. Hit shot, and it's a goal! Shot up the middle. That's going to bring home the winning run. The Cox 
Channel. We love high school sports. Just keep it. Thank you. Dr. Kessler? What's up with the pizzas? Well, I just got my first satellite bill, and those extra fees were a bit of a shocker. So I had to take a second job. Hey, this was supposed to be pepperoni, Dillweed. Hey, it's Dr. Dillweed to you. Whatever. Kids. <laughs> It's cool, eh? you know, I'm a people person. Don't live in satellite denial. Get all your entertainment without the hidden charges from Cox, your friend in the digital age. Welcome back to The Verdict. Kent Myers with my guests Ann Felton and Dan Ellis uh, talking about the Central Oklahoma Habitat for Humanities Home Building Blitz. Uh, and uh, in the first segment, we talked about habitat, uh, of course, the central Oklahoma chapter we were referring to, and uh, Dan talked a little bit about Climate Master, but now let's focus in on the Home Builders Blitz. What is that, and why are we having it? Home Builders Blitz is a national program through Habitat for Humanity International, and it's where they hope during one week period, really five days, to build 400 houses, uh, partnering with all built with builders all over the country, and we in Oklahoma City built ten of these houses, and it was just awesome. Ten out of four hundred. Uh huh. That's a pretty high percentage. I know. I think so too. I'm really proud of that. But in any event, it was just really wonderful for us to have the opportunity to work with all these builders, and they got their subs to donate things. They got a lot of the material donated. So I mean, it was really a wonderful success, and it was really a, a opportunity for us to raise our vis visibility in the community more too. Well, you don't typically, I guess, on the homes you, you build year to year, uh, co-op with the home builders themselves. No, generally we don't. I mean, this is a new experience for us, and it's been a very good experience. Generally speaking, we build our homes with volunteers, and uh, that's a lot of fun, too. We have we partner with a lot of different churches and businesses that uh, will come out and provide volunteers to work on our houses. But uh, actually, these builders are volunteering, too, so they're volunteers. They're just at a little more professional level than most of our volunteers are that come out and work on the job site. Well, let's talk a little bit about the building of the homes. Uh, from the time they break ground till the, the home is finished, how long is it in, in this particular project? Well, on 7 o'clock that Monday morning, it was raise your hammers. <laughs> <laughs> and by Friday, they were finished, and it was wonderful. Five Saturday, days. Five days, and then Saturday, the following Saturday, we had huge house dedication out there with the 10 families and turned over the keys to the houses to the families, and it was just wonderful. How many people, how many humans are involved, uh, either builders or from your organization, in this blitz? I, I think around 300 people were involved. I mean, we had people donating food. I mean, one thing that was really special, the Salvation Army came out on the, on the Friday and provided lunch for our volunteers and brought their canteen out to, and left it there all day with water and soft drinks and everything so we had a lot of support Johnny's uh, charcoal broiler brought food out on Tuesday and Outback is sponsor has brought food out so we had a lot of support from a lot of different people so but I would say probably around 300 and just what part of the uh, county are these homes uh, sitting these homes are in Spencer which is where we have an addition uh, we actually have been building there for about the last three years we have uh, we actually started out with 64 lots there but we put a park in so we uh, designated three lots for the park, and we actually have built about 50 houses to date there. But by the time we're through, we'll have 61 houses there, and we will raise the population of Spencer by about 4%. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's really been fun to work in Spencer, too. They've been a great city. They've been very cooperative and fun to be with. Well, I bet they're glad to have you. They are. We've helped them with their property tax. Uh, Dan, uh, Tell uh, our viewers why uh, Climate Master wanted to be involved in this uh, very extensive project. Okay. Well, we originally got involved in a Habitat home about a year and a half ago. A couple of our people, through their church volunteer efforts, were out building the homes and thought, you know, it really made sense to put an energy-saving product like a geothermal system in a home mm -hmm. where, you, where affordability is, is primary and paramount. When you look at these homes, uh, if we can cut the heating and cooling cost by, you know, on average it looks like $75 a month. Uh, that's pretty significant when, mm -hmm. you, when you look at a home where their total house payment might be in the range of three to $400. So it's a major cost. And of course, when energy costs take off and you have a $200 gas bill or something, that's pretty mm -hmm. impactful in, uh, in a family like that. If you would just take the same uh, uh, pump that you're putting into these homes and just sell it on the open market, what, what kind of uh, value oh. are they receiving? In these homes, uh, 
the size system going in there would be seventy five hundred eight thousand dollars for a new complete new home uh, with a geothermal per system home? per home. And you did 10 of these? And we did 10 of these, mm -hmm. but there's donations that are coming from uh, the heating and air co contractors that work with each of the 10 home builders. They're putting in the duct system. Uh, we've had donations from a manufacturer of a water heater that mates up to our unit because the units make heating, cooling, and hot water. Uh, we've had uh, you know, donations from uh, the drilling company that helped put the geothermal loops down in the ground. They gave a very special discount, and then we picked up the difference. Uh, we've been setting aside money, you know, just kind of out of our uh, growth and, and success. We've set aside a certain amount of money that our employees know and our customers know. We put into uh, good causes and we decided that Habitat was going to be our cause this year and possibly on into the future. And uh, we just wanted to prove that we could do it, that we could go out there and get 10 homes put even with geothermal systems in which people perceive as complicated and go from a slab to a completed home in a week and we're just so proud to have been a part of doing that. Well you had some good help from the builders I take oh, it. Oh we sure have. Well and, uh, were you involved in trying to get the builders uh, uh, mobilized? Well uh, we were really involved in the coordination of, of the geothermal system with the builders which was in itself a challenge but Ann really was most involved in recruiting those builders in, in the Habitat organization. Well let's, uh, let's call up a chart now of the builders who are participating in this and give them some recognition. Their names are in front of you. The Bridgeport Development, Gardner Tannenbaum, Heartland Homes, Home Creations, Homes by Tabor, Ideal Homes, Johnston Builders, Oklahoma Home Centers, South Creek Construction, Tommy Hewell's Camp Homes. Uh, folks, uh, those are uh, organizations in this community that deserve a pat on the back for uh, contributing mightily to making this uh, a blitz a success. Uh, and uh, the uh, how is this uh, ten home blitz going to affect your normal production of homes in central Oklahoma? Well, for, for the, the year? last few years, we've built about forty houses a year. So this year, we'll build fifty-two houses. So, so you're still going to do the forty anyway? Oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we're still our, we're still on track for our regular building schedule. In fact, we have houses in progress right now that are outside of this area. So, but th this year we'll build 52 houses, and hopefully next year we'll build 52 again. So, what kind of investment uh, is being made on a, on a gratuitous basis uh, to make this project work? I mean, the home builders are donating things. Your well, the uh, whole organization is. The whole project is about $650,000. Just for this mm -hmm. Oklahoma Just for County. This. Well, oh, are, are you talking about Oklahoma? Well, let's talk about Oklahoma. County. I thought you were talking about the Builders Blitz. All right, let's talk about. Okay, the that was six, That's around six hundred fifty thousand, and we've had a lot of things donated. Yeah. So uh, probably our out of pocket cost right now to date has been like one hundred fifty thousand of this. But I mean, there'll be ten families and homes that you know, five days. So I mean, it's really special. Plus, it's been so much fun to work with these builders. I mean, they're so professional and I think they've had a good time working with us and I mean it's really been a, a wonderful experience for all, for mm -hmm. us to have the opportunity to get to know them and work with them and hopefully they'll work with us again in the future. Well, it sounds like something mm -hmm. to be worth pursuing again mm -hmm. if you can get it done. How's your experience been with this Dan? Well um, what what I've really noticed is is how you'd never know anyone was competitors in all the meetings and the mm -hmm. planning meetings that we've had. Everyone is there's a really great spirit of cooperation going on, uh, a lot of energy and enthusiasm mm -hmm. And uh, it's just been a wonderful thing to be a part of. And I, I think everyone was really interested in the challenge of can we do it in five days? And of course, the fact that that happened is, is quite a feat. Well, folks, you've been hearing today about a, a marvelous project that's going on in this community or has gone on in this community. And now there are 10 families out there enjoying right. 10 new homes for which they're paying, uh, but uh, were built in a, about a week through a cooperative effort uh, with uh, Central Oklahoma Habitat for Humanity and a list of home builders which you've seen uh, and of course not uh, not the least of which, not a home builder, but a contributor is Climate Master and thanks to Climate Master for their contribution. I want to thank both of you for coming today and telling us about this and I hope what we can do is as this progresses in the future, if you do it again next year, we want you to come back and tell us what you're doing and how thank it's you. going. I'd love to. Uh, thanks very that. much uh, to uh, Dan Ellis and Ann uh -huh. Felton for joining us on The Verdict. It's time to take a break. I'll see you back by myself in just a couple of minutes.
good life comes naturally to Tulsa, where nature's beauty is matched with an eye for aesthetics. A legacy of neighborhoods graced with lawns and landscaping and handsome homes. A place that seems to have patented an ideal lifestyle. Bank First is loyal to the quality of life Tulsa assures its citizens, to the priority placed on education, culture, and growth. Loyal to builders who transform raw land into residential charm. Developers who see opportunity and add vitality to Tulsa's economy. Bank First serves both enterprise and private lives that need a loyal partner. It's how we help nurture this city's very good life. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Ed is too. There you go. Cox Communications está buscando empleados entusiásticos y motivados. Disfruta de nuestros beneficios, pago competitivo, grandes ventajas y oportunidades para el adelanto. Si desea hacer una diferencia, tenemos un lugar para usted aquí con Cox Communications. Visítanos en el internet o llame para ver qué oportunidades tenemos para usted aquí en Cox. Él es tú. Cox Communications está orgulloso de ofrecer igualdad de empleos. The Sun Belt Classic features the best high school seniors from eight states in a five-day battle to see who's the best of the best. Future big leaguers have dotted the rosters of these teams since 1977. Friday, June 23rd at 7 p.m., it's Oklahoma versus Texas. Saturday, the 24th at 7, it's the Sun Belt Classic Championship game. The 30th annual Sun Belt Classic, Friday and Saturday, June 23rd and 24th at 7 p.m. It's live, and it's only on the Cox Channel. Welcome back to The Verdict, Kent Myers. Uh, we just finished visiting with Ann Felton and Dan Ellis about the Central Oklahoma Habitat for Humanity Home Builders Blitz, which is a real mouthful to try to say very fast. Uh, but we learned a lot about it. It's a marvelous project uh, taking place here in our community and the people we had on today, plus all those others, are to be commended mightily. Uh, let me uh, give you a couple of three websites to look at uh, that might uh, help you if you want to contact them for the Central Oklahoma Habitat. It's centraloklahomahabitat.org. For uh, Dan Ellis at Climate Master, it is climatemaster.com. And of course, for us here at The Verdict, it's theverdict.tv. Let us know what you'd like to see. Uh, for Mick Cornett, I am Kent Myers. I will see you next week. Seating program was produced by the Production Services Group at Cox Communications, exclusively for the Cox Channel.